Hello, <laughs> welcome back to freaking Foxy May Zero. We're doing this again, folks. Like I said, it's literally minutes after. Oh, maybe like a minute after. You know, two minutes after the last episode. So, well, I need to get hype for me doing my actual fucking intro. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I, I guess so. I would work hard on the paper and the fool around till my graduation. That's fun. It's pretty much what I did in high school. <laughs> Take naps. Sadly, I didn't have a roommate, but I mainly took naps, did shit. <laughs> to per well, I primarily took naps during class. <laughs> Fuck all of you. I took. I slept. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> take that, teachers! <laughs> if you watch this video, shit. <laughs> Crap. After my graduation, I haven't thought of that. I can't help you. Not my field of work, man. <laughs> For fuck's sake, I haven't even been taught how to edit. <laughs> I just do this shit because it's easy. I'm scratching my head while thinking on what I should do after graduation. <laughs> Get a fucking job! <laughs> That's what you need. <laughs> Maybe I will beg my supervisor to be my assi his assistant after all. Uh, the, work wor the working world outside is too complicated. I don't think I could handle that. I'll come back! And have fun! Do shit in this town! <laughs> I guess I'll marry a younger student of my supervisor who might happen to fall in love with me. That sort of thing. Oh, I could have go after you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck. She wants that, doesn't she? Mori stops asking questions after hearing that. She drops her head and seems upset. Dude, she likes you! I suddenly realized that I had said something improper. Yeah, dude, you don't remember what the fuck happened? Who god knows how many episodes ago. <laughs> I don't fucking remember. I have a lot of series. I have lots of shit to do. <laughs> well, it's... Too bad I haven't met such a blind younger student ever all these years. But I did meet a fairy fox lady. I guess I'm waiting has finally paid back. Fair point. She raised her head again. I guess she is good in a good mood now. Yeah, she wants the butt. <laughs> That's all she wants. She wants the butt. <laughs> I find it inspiring. We can. Please tell me you don't turn into a giant. Fucking fox! <laughs> it's near dusk. There are fewer people on the street. Mori asks me anxiously. I just heard from the passerbys that there is an accurate activity in Sky Lanterns. That will be released tonight. Let's join in. What happens if it's too late? Don't worry, there are hotels in town. It must, it, at most, we can spend the night at Mr. Wong's. You okay? I ain't helping you. 
The sense of Sky Lanterns being released will be lovely and pretty. You're gonna love it. Don't you dare fucking tear these lanterns off. Let's go get some lanterns first. Okay, so then we're gonna be fine. What the fuck? I still have like 10 fucking minutes left in this episode. <laughs> or like 9 minutes. I don't fucking know when I'm gonna end this episode. I take more to walk with the, the steam, stream of people. The Sky Lanterns is a kind of lantern that can fly. So... Yes! It becomes a fucking bird! <laughs> yes, it's a lantern made out of paper. It's very light and there's a candle at the bottom. The lantern is hot, uh, uh, hot air, gradually generated by the candle will make the lantern fly. Yes, it somewhat is. I know how it works, but I don't exactly know how the fuck I'm going to put it to make it sound right. <laughs> In ancient times, people used to, the lanterns to send messages for long distant mem matters. Lanterns, it gradually evolved into a custom of wishes and blessings during festivals. Um, I don't fucking know. Don't question me. I'm a dumbass. I do shit. Stupidly. <laughs> of course, we need to hang the wish note on the sky lantern for later. Lord Moon, you will return. Sorry, look, the first time we've seen a moon <laughs> in any of the series on my channel. <laughs> After buying the Sky Lantern, we came to the plaza. Along the crowd, it's completely dark now. The moon climbs into the middle of the sky. Quietly, it replaces the sun. It's like a crystal gem. Enabled in the dark, a blue night. I wrote Moy's name on the wish note and gave it to her. She will write her wish on the other side. Or fucking eat the paper. <laughs> what did you write? I ain't telling you. <laughs> Fuck. Mari writes her wish quickly, and hangs a note on the lantern by avoiding my uh, me pretty quickly. Good point. Never heard that a lot, so I'm gonna go with it. Huh. How did you know that? Dang it. She lights the candle, and the lantern, uh, while talking. Okay. At least we know she can do that, <laughs> and not set it on fire. That's uh, superstition. What is there to hide? A lot. Fuck. <laughs> I reach my hand to fetch the lantern. Hey, wait! Mori blocks my head and releases the lantern. And we get a shot! A good shot! Just like that, our lantern floats into the sky unsteadily. How did that get so blurry? <laughs> Hey, there's a lantern in the background. <laughs> the sky lanterns around us also flutter into to the sky gently. Gradually, that works too. <laughs> Suddenly, the sky and the earth seem res 
reserved and glow full is a cascade into the to the sky the lights all over the sky covered into this splendid milky way overshadowing the stars and the moon the whole night sky is lit up I want to say some, but I'm gonna just read this for now. That I can get all the, uh, then I can start making fun. Mari is also er, enthralled by the sky. I look around. Most of the people are couples, but this time I don't need to envy them. It's time for them to envy me. Mori stays still while some posture with the same posture she looks at the sky and I stare at her. Fuck. Can't hide it! <laughs> Fuck all of you! <laughs> you know if you have a fox girl! Fuck, I wish she was human. <laughs> Well, she is human, just cut off the tail. She'll be human, pretty much. <laughs> Mara looks more real against the candlelit and moonlight it compared to the one at the night of forest. She is no longer the... Surreal and free way, far away. I don't fucking know, don't question me. <laughs> she is the treasure grant granted by heaven. I will cherish this m the moment no matter what happens in the future. <laughs> Except for me! <laughs> Eh. Where well, of course it is. Eh. I don't care. I'm just, later on. I'm gonna move on to other series. So if you guys want me to do other games with this, shit. I was just about to explain to Mari. The lanterns will fly into the upper air when the candles burn out. They will fall off. They will fly all, all the way to the place of the moon. Okay, the music here ain't half bad. I'm gonna increase it for you guys. Okay, that's, that's too loud. I want to hear my own voice when I actually check it on the video later. <laughs> Yes. Of course they can. The goodness of the place will also see our wishes, note, and realize our dreams. Fuck, uh, this is a moment for them! Mori smiles after hearing my explanation. She doesn't say anything else after that. Okay. Her eyes are still fixed on the sky. As if she's chasing our lantern. I also look at the sky along her direction, but there is boodering. Don't know what the fuck a word is. <laughs> Can you tell which one is our lantern? Just wait till she loses it. I lost it! That's true. She has been considering... Concentrating on her eyes. Have been following our wish. That's actually a good way to end the episode where you guys can see, see the achievement and I can't. Uh, Mari, I'm getting up.
That's actually a nice way to end the episode, man. I mean, I'm gonna leave for all of you. Just. How else am I gonna end that? <laughs> I don't know how. If we landed on a good moment there, man. I'll let all you guys figure out what happens in the next episode. Cause I don't freaking know either. And I hope you guys have fun. See you guys next time.